Today I'm working on an engine control unit from Hyundai that has been uh, water damaged some time ago. Uh, it's been repaired since then. I can tell it's been repaired and uh, it doesn't work anymore. So I have to to make a board inspection first and then we'll get from there. First of all, I can tell um, this area has been restored. This is a trace soldered here. I don't know about this pad from under the capacitor. I'm gonna measure it. I'm looking just uh, at this uh, portion of the board, this sector because here I found water damage somebody already worked here too but uh, these are the programming pads okay something was wrong with the video so uh, what we can do okay so those traces I need to solder them I bypassed those traces from here one and two and I need to solder them on the back of the board So I missed some part of the video, but that's it. So I need to fill those holes with solder. And then I'm gonna measure to see if those circuits are connected to some traces. Let me scratch that burn flux. Sometimes it's hard to remove. Okay, now it seems okay. And I need to, to cut more this left trace because I don't want this to make a connection with this. They are not connected.
and I need to cut a little bit more. Okay. Now it's perfect. All right. What's in there? What is this? Let me clean it to see. Is this a test point pad or it's a true hole connection? Let me flip the board again to see from here to here. I don't know. Let's clean the solder to see if there's a hole. Okay, it's a test point. So what's here? Oh, it's just uh, some. Let me see where are these holes connected. Okay, they are connected to the programming pads that we don't need. Maybe in case we have to to replace this ECU and we have to back up some data, then I'm gonna I'm gonna repair those traces too. The rest of the board lo looks good to me and I don't think there are problems here. I just want to test from continuity. We need to have a continuous path from here to here and we do let me check on resistance mode we need to have between 0 and 1 ohm 0 0.5 yes it's perfect and I'm gonna do the same from here to right here 0 0.5 ohms good here here zero point five okay 
now I'm gonna test from those traces to the ECU connector to see if there's a connection maybe I can test easily from this side okay here we have a connection okay I'll keep in mind that pin and I'm gonna show show it to you later and from here to here okay let me adjust the microscope and we have a continuous path from here to here and from here to here let me check in resistance mode the first one we have 0 0.5 perfect and the second trace 0 0.5 okay now I want to test the capacitors I want to test those capacitors This should be the ground. Okay. And we don't have a short on the capacitors. Let me check this one too. This is the ground. And this is. Yes, it's perfect. Ground. Perfect. They are not shorted. And I need to test this fuse. This is good. It's a zero ohm resistor. And I want to check those resistors too. We have 1.4 kilo ohms. 1.4 kilo ohms. And 1.4 kilo ohms. I don't know the values of this resistor, of those resistors, but. Uh, if they are equal, I think we are in the in the range. And this this one is fourteen kilos. Okay, everything looks good to me. Everything looks good to me. Uh, let me redo that soldering. Okay, now it's better.
Now I'm gonna check what uh, pin numbers are those pins, those two pins from the connector to see if they are from the throttle position sensor or the throttle actuator. So those pins are 20 and 21. So you can see the pin 20 is throttle position sensor supply. I don't know why the 21 pin is, is not shown. Here we have the throttle position sensor. I don't see here the pin 21. Maybe it's not really connected to anything. Or maybe this uh, wire diagram version is not complete. I don't know. or is not compatible okay since we don't have the throttle body to connect it on the bench with the engine control unit and to test it I'm gonna send this unit to the customer to check that to put it on the car and uh, check with the diagnostic tool if everything is okay and if not I'm gonna make a part 2 video where I'm gonna measure again and retest everything but for now issue I think is gonna work and that's it for today I'm gonna work on something else now